Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Atruder. Welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, we made one a hell of a journey north, bloody hell. And then, to get home, we decided to, you know, take a nice little vertebird ride, which was uh, probably not the best idea in some ways, uh, given someone did blatantly take a pot shot at me, but uh, what can you do, eh? Also, I should stress this, by the way. When we're travelling around the world, we're not going to be using vertebrates as standard. Don't worry, that's not the plan. Okay, I'm aware vertebrates are dangerous because you can't really take cover. If you come under fire, there's just not much you can do about it. So, there's going to be scenarios when vertebrates are going to be very useful. There's also going to be scenarios where vertebrates are, you know, more dangerous than going on foot. So, it's going to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis... I'm not going to be nipping in a vertebrate just to, you know, go down the street to get some milk from Diamond City. That is not part of the plan. Don't worry. But there are some times when vertebrates are going to be very, very useful indeed. And yes, indeed, on top of that, last time I did mention today, the great journey south towards the glowing sea begins. And that's true, but I did realise something when I was editing uh, last week's part, which is... Uh, okay, we are going to make the great journey south. But first, we're going to make a great journey to the east, then north, then west, then east. Okay, we're going to get to south sooner or later. It's going to be fine. But um, I did realise something a little bit on the uh, the embarrassing side, which is... Uh, yes, the Revere Satellite Array, as some of you noticed, uh, I did go into that saying, You know what, I don't know if I'm going to take this place out, but if I did, it would be nice to get the Stealth Magazine. And I didn't actually pick up the Stealth Magazine, despite clearing it out, because I just sort of... um. Forgot. So, okay, today we're going to rectify that because I've realised there's actually a really good little route I could take. Because right now, yeah, I'm on rank 5 of Covert Operations, so I can do much, much better than that. Alright, let's get that sorted out because as I'm very quickly realising, especially with the Assault on Fort Strong, I can't rely on overwhelming firepower. So more investment than I was originally planning on, you know, making myself as invisible as possible... That's going to be the right way to go. First though, I've got a long journey to make and yeah, right now I'm overtired. So sadly, I need to give up all my lovely, lovely adrenaline. It's time for a quick nap. Just, you know, make sure I minimise the risk first. And seven hours will take me to about midnight anyway. So yeah, sneaking around at night when everyone's asleep. That's for the better regardless. And I thought I saw a little bit of yellow there, but no, turns out we're uh, we're okay. So the adrenaline's gone. There we go. No rad storm. Right, on our flipping way. So, all right, all right, all right. First step, we're going down the river. Go over to, uh, yeah, penetrating. Plenty of ammo in that for now. Just keeping out because for some reason, I've been seeing various raiders going just up and down the bridge towards Diamond City. And uh, that, you know... That unnerves me just a little bit. Just keep an eye on... That's Diamond City Security. That's fine. Step one, we're just going on what should be the completely safe path down the side of the river right here. Specifically, we're heading towards uh, Bunker Hill as a starting point. Oh, hang on. Just on the way. Got ourselves a red scaver and... Okay. Apparently, it's now been long enough that, uh, yeah, some of these guys have started to regenerate, which is, to be honest, fine, actually. Just taking you out. All right. This is, yeah, I see you over there. Is there another radar? If there is, I can't see them. Yeah, so thing in survival mode, this is the first time this has come up. Enemies can regenerate in survival mode. They just do it at a much slower rate than in the base game, so... Yeah, sometimes... Oh, if this is regenerated. Oh, I hope the entire bloody riverfront hasn't regenerated. That would be very annoying if that was the case. And for the time being, this might be, you know, a, a nice way of getting a few nice, you know, VAT shots in. Just to uh, build up a lovely, lovely bit of... Was that movement from another radar? I think we should be okay. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing much. I'll take 70 at the body. And I was a bit worried there for a second. Because it totally turned to face me. But don't worry, we're fine as it turns out. I think we're okay. The explosion would have alerted any other raiders. Okay, this might be a little bit more tricky 
than I thought. Because of the entire raider encampments of, you know, the entire bloody area in this part of the world. Especially the big one that I can cross before then. Okay, but the guy where, you know, the place where I've still got one person who has never killed up top. That could be irritating to deal with. Oh! Wait, what, 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 what? There was just a gunshot. There was just a gunshot. Everyone heard that, right? What? Am I going mad? There was a gunshot, right? We all heard the gunshot. Okay. This is... This was supposed to be the nice easy bit that didn't even need to be in the video. I was just going to cut out this walk. So I thought, you know what? It's nice, it's easy, nothing dramatic's going on, everything's under control. I'm beginning to suspect that might have just been a bit of, like, you know, debris of physics item. Uh, dropping and hitting a different physics item, not a gunshot. It just sounded like a gunshot. It's fine, just, yeah, be aware that if the, uh... The encampment over here, past Charles View Amphitheatre, has uh, replenished too. That could be... Then again, that could just be a good source of XP and crit, so I really shouldn't complain. Okay. I'm not... I'm not seeing anything up ahead. I'm hearing a vertebrate... I was about to say somewhere nearby, but it's actually pretty close, as it turns out. So that's not a bad thing. To be honest, Jay, you're mostly safe from kamikaze invertebrates in the actual town centre because they'll just uh, crash into the roof instead. If this place had restocked, I'd have seen it by now. Alright, we should. We should be fine. Right, there might be somebody still up top. Are we golden? Yeah, we're golden. But at this point, the person up top shouldn't even really be able to detect me. To be honest, because yeah, with uh, Sneak 4, they can't hear me anymore. Okay, it's not the entire riverfront. We should be fine. And uh, to be honest, yeah, just hearing the Brotherhood buzzing about is lovely. Because uh, nine times out of ten, the Brotherhood will be doing you a favour. They'll be dropping in, they'll be taking out monsters, taking out raiders, uh, clearing out paths you're not even on right now, which is very useful. 10% of the time, they'll crash into you and kill you. But, like, you know, I'm banking on that 90%, damn it. Oh. There was just a flash. Okay, that'll be the flash of the vertebrate crashing. So, there we go. Didn't crash on me. 90% serves me well today. Okay. Over the bridge, but we're not going to Bunker Hill. In fact, we're giving it a wide berth because somewhere over there is the beginning of Automaton, and we do not want that to trigger. So instead, we're just going to take a right here and head down the path, and it should be nice and peaceful. And uh, yes, indeed, beautifully lit up in the distance there. Our destination, of course, yes. We are going to the lovely Great Big Ship. So there's one of the edges of Bunker Hill, right over there. The raiders here should be chill. There's all the robots. There's Ironside himself. Now, obviously, uh, we're not actually doing this mission, because this mission is, you know, uh, tricky. Very tricky. And features you being fairly exposed. And there we go. There are the raiders. No need to get involved with them at all. This area should be safe. Around the corner, there's a bit of a risk of the odd raider or dog or whatever. But to be honest, I kind of need the food. Like, my food is getting dangerously low. So, USS Constitution. Hello there, matey. I would be more than happy to come aboard. So, last voyage of the USS Constitution begins. Absolutely marvellous. Now, that gets me on the ship. And I want to be on the ship, but I don't actually want to, you know, do the mission. Because honestly, as we've seen, like, doing missions is kind of a mugs game in Fallout 4 survival mode with uh, low intelligence and idios of because uh, if you do missions, then you're just going to get yourself, like, you know, shot and whatever. I don't want to be shot. No, 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 no. And all it's going to get me is... Ooh, there you go. Giant piles of money, actually. All it's going to get me is, like, you know, 300 XP or something. If I just shoot someone and Idio Savon triggers, I get myself, like, 500 XP. That's way bloody better. Instead, all we want is to, yeah, work our way up in the building and head inside through the bottom hatch right over here. And all our lovely little robot friends are going to be super chill because I got myself conscripted. I don't know what happens if you actually come in through the, uh, the trapdoor without getting conscripted. I assume you get shot at this point, so maybe don't do that. Because 
there's no speech check or anything. You just get automatically conscripted, so it's fine. Now, you can't really, like, you know, steal anything here. It's all red, and I'm not going to take the bloody risk, all right? I am not stealing. Not in an area this crowded, all right? I do not need any of this stuff anyway. But if we just uh, start making our way up in the world a little bit... Okay, I'm going to be honest. I completely forgot the door to the captain's cabin where the magazine is, is master locked. And the reason I forgot is normally... I take lock picking, but on this occasion I've just had too many other things to take, so I never got round to it. So it's either complete the mission, which is a definite no go. It's long, it's complicated, it puts you in a lot of dangerous situations, or it's get up to master lock picking, which is not happening for uh for some time. So okay, our journey to gather the stealth magazines is off to a great bloody start. I think I might be able possibly to, yeah, pickpocket the key off Ironside, but bloody hell, I'm not taking that risk and you only live once, so we're just going to have to make do without. Okay, back outside and yeah, as I, oh, as I expected, raiders. At uh, half health and, okay, he was firing at something. What was he firing at? Logically, whatever he was firing at was firing back, because he'd taken damage, but he wasn't engaged in Trash Kankala. Okay, so the true hero of our series bloody well returns. Marvellous. I love Trash Kankala. She's, she's always there for me, damn it. Just check the way she came. Seems to be fine. May as well help myself to, you know, some nice free corpse stuff right over here. Yep, 308. Need some of that. That's lovely right there. So, yeah, watch out though. Raiders are starting to spawn with uh, 308 enabled guns like as standard, which is uh, not a joke. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's one we can definitely fix. We just need to nip back up to Revere. Because at Revere, I can get the magazine I should have already bloody claimed. Nothing spectacular on her, by the way, but I may as well swap, yeah, just a couple of uh, stim packs or something for a tiny bit of 308. Okay, to the left of me, I got myself a couple of razor claws. No reason to cause trouble with them. Just try and stay between them and the radioactive structure. If I follow the road, hopefully we should be fine. I don't really want them to, to wake up at all. If I'm on the road, I should... Should be safe. Don't get too close to a car, by the way. That's all absolutely fine. Just need to get round to County Crossing Way. And then from there, yeah, Revere is... Well, Revere is literally in sight. It's right over there. Just don't get too close to the bloody radioactive balls of death. Okay. On final approach. Vertebrate noises. Coming from this direction. There we go. I see it. Okay, so... That's just dropped off a handful of people. Okay, you guys would have been useful yesterday. Alright. If you'd been here yesterday, that would have been great. As it is, not so bloody useful. Though some people point out, yes, do always, uh, do be careful with vertebrates. There is a very, very small chance when you see a vertebrate, it ain't the Brotherhood. It can be, you know, the Gunners instead. They can occasionally steal a vertebrate. And on this occasion... Oh, 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 bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, rads. Just, I'd like to know who's here, please. I'd like to know who's, I don't know who's here. Now, I'm pretty sure, yes, where I was supposed to go was this one in the... Okay, so that's already exploded. That's good. That means it can't explode on, uh, on me. So, do we know who it dropped off? Okay, whoever it is, uh, they're not around here. Everything's fine. And another explosion of some description. Okay, don't go in that direction. That direction, many, many explosions right now. Just have a bit of a loopsy round, eh? Okay, I'm seeing... I'm seeing laser fire, which would normally indicate... Oh, hang on, that is... Yep, that's Brotherhood. We got eyes on Brotherhood. Okay, Brotherhood over there, taking out stuff that, you know, would otherwise be taking me out. So I'm going to take that as a win. And here we go. The stealth magazine I completely forgot to bother picking up. So you know what? Well done me, basically. Keep an eye on my friends over there. So, okay. Don't really know what he's, what he's doing or what he's after. But you know what? It helps me. I'm fine with it. Oh. 
Okay, you guys are causing a lot of explosions over that. I do not appreciate this. And... Uh, oh, it's just a dog. It's just a random dog. I'd help out, you know, if I could. Uh, but... Okay, just hold. Hold. Never mind. You already... You already won. Okay. So, we're not going to be taking on the Brotherhood. Obviously. Completely unnecessary. Bad decision. What's that noise? I don't know, but no, that's just my crit meter. That's all fine. Okay, we got ourselves a Brotherhood Knight over there, which is... That's good news. That's a positive thing. It's never bad to have a Brotherhood Knight just sort of uh, bumbling around. All right, it's a good thing. Because for the time being, they're perfectly happy to help me out. Rad's got up to 53, unfortunately. But you know what? That's just like one extra Rad. That's fine. They've got something going on over there. Alright, might have just been a mile, like, not sure. I mean, it's good. It's really good to have the Brotherhood just bumbling about. They do a good job clearing out, you know, everything. It's marvellous. Okay, step the next is, yes, maybe a little bit more of a, uh, a tricky one. The Libertalia. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't necessarily want to take on the Libertalia this early, and also I'm not even sure Libertalia's in... Uh, John, you could have brought the concrete. You could have set up County Crossing with a cannon. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so I've done everything wrong today, okay? I've just done everything bloody wrong. If I'd just brought the bloody concrete, we could have had jet artillery coverage set up here. Because I bloody bet that the castle's not going to be in range of... Oh, dear, oh, flipping dear. Two approaches to the Libertalia. The traditional approach from the north, which is a little bit longer to my mind, or the south via North Hagen. So uh, we're going to give both a bit of a loop see. Okay, so I need to go straight on over the bridge, take a right over the other bridge. But be careful, that bridge can be dangerous. If need be, we might be aborting. But to be honest, the, um, the Brotherhood Knight in front of me, he's going to help. And yeah, the nice thing is I can be pretty confident that this is safe at the moment. Because if it wasn't, the Brotherhood Knight would have already detected it, taken it all out. I will not say no to stuff I can sell. Nice and easy. Right over here. Reeb Marina. Don't need to worry about this. I'll tag it just for the sake of, you know, extra, what is that, uh, 25 XP? I shan't say no. What's that? Hello over there. Sorry, didn't realise you were going to be here. But to be honest, that's fine and... That took three bloody shots to take out. That was ridiculous, but okay. Should have gone over to uh, something else, but... What do you mean, danger? Um... Mild. Mild issue. Go! Get on top of a car! No, you don't. Bye. Uh, so, yes, they, they can't get to me anymore, actually. And that was... No, that was a level up! That was a level up, not a level down or, or whatever in terms of health. That's, that's fine. Screw you. And, uh oh, no. Car, 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 car. Okay, now I had to, had to abandon my car because of, are you coming for me? Are you coming? You're not coming for me. No, now you're coming for me. Uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, just, just go. If I don't hit this first one, then go over to. Bloody hell, that was more stressful than a dog was supposed to. I'm still in cocky danger. What are you taking on now? What the bloody hell is, is, is it just more. Okay. <laughs> Dogs. Marvellous. So that was, that was good. Still on the plus side, I said I needed more flipping meat. Right. Dog, 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 and more flipping dog. This dog was also loaded, so that's nice as well. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, so that was, that was a thing that just happened. Uh, right there. We needed to bloody... That was not where I was... This is the thing. Okay, this is why I think I need to just max out my stealth. Because in Fallout 4, it's going to be the things you don't expect that ultimately are the ones that get you. Okay. It's not going to be the stuff in the main missions that's going to kill me. Well, okay, it might well do. But, like, it's the random stuff. It's stuff like a handful of dogs just floating around on a road next to a car that the Brotherhood decide they're going to blow up because they're dicks. That's what's potentially going to finish me off. So that's why I just need to be not flipping seen. Also, this thing is just flying for some reason. Okay, level 34. What are we going to do today? Ninja level 3 is available. 
Okay, that's nice. That's really nice right there. Alternatively, yeah. Demolition Expert 3, which kind of scares me because uh, in theory I might use that to uh, blow myself up. That's certainly a possibility. As I've been talking about for a while, uh, yeah. There's potentially something interesting going on with uh, Mysterious Stranger. 10% chance of appearing on the first rank. That is uh, not a bad increase in damage, all things considered. Or... I could boost luck. I could boost luck and then Grim Reaper's Sprint can start popping in. Though, to be honest, the big start is uh, Four Leaf Clover. I've already got the luck bobblehead, so any more boost to luck for the sake of, yeah, perk unlocking has to be done through level ups. The mid-30s is kind of quiet, by the way. It's a good time to catch up on perks you've not taken before, so uh, I kind of don't want to take, yeah, another point of endurance for the simple reason that... I haven't got the Endurance Bobblehead yet, so it's kind of a waste in a way, because I could just wait for that then again. That's in, a, that's in a dangerous location. In fact, actually, the dungeon that's in is also lockpit locked. Like, 99% of the time in this game, hacking is better than lockpicking, but just sometimes lockpicking is actually good. So, lockpicking would have got me that magazine. Lockpicking could get me a much, much easier Endurance Bobblehead. Then again. Okay. Another 50% to my sneak attacks. That's pretty darn good. Uh, Mr. Sandman is another 15% sneak attack. Then 15%, then another 20%. Mr. Sandman is not bad for being mixed with my silenced rifles. To be honest, I've not taken a single rank of action, girl. But I kind of don't need it as much because I've just been lucky and I've got two powered bits of gear. I'm going to take Ninja 3. Ninja 3 is a solid, dependable choice. And officially I'm now at, yes, 205 out of 291. So I'm assuming due to the weirdness of how, yes, uh, numbers rounding works in this game. Uh, now technically the game considers I've lost uh, 86 hit points, not 87. But I'm guessing that's just, you know, a percentage fraction rounding McJibble. So, okay, not looking so bad. We're under control. Also bear in mind, I could of course, yeah, at any point just uh, swim to Libertalia. But as we've seen, just the shortest dip in the water, it carries big risks of infection. So I do not want the chance of disease, all right? I'm already annoyed enough by the bloody parasites and... Uh... Okay, that's not something I want to cause trouble with. That's a kill claw. If I could get... Okay very carefully move around the side. If I can get a shot at the head, uh, then I can one-shot it. Just check the beach is safe. Okay. What? Okay. Um, 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 or, or, or we, or we just run. Or we just run, get a bit of distance between me and Mr. Killclaw, because there was a different Killclaw on the beach. That's all bloody hell, rads! Oh, for... Okay, this is, this is fine. Uh, Brotherhood Knights, I'm going to be needing your assistance, actually. So if you wouldn't mind just taking care of uh, this. This is why the Brotherhood are good. Because sometimes uh, bad things happen. And when bad things... Obviously, they're not helping. Still, I'll help myself to a bit more, a uh, bit more meat. Where'd that bloody miler go? Oh, that was a load of rads. That was up to... Oh, bloody... What even was that? I don't know, but whatever it is, I don't want to go back over it again. Right, buddy. I'm going to be wanting you to be coming in this direction and... You could have just shot him, John. Killclaws may have an intimidating name, but no, they're not actually that. Oh, that was a lot of rats. That's annoying. Okay, that's that's fine. I don't even know what... What even caused that? That unnerves me. When I take a giant pile of... Was it you? Those aren't marked as rat barrels. Okay, maybe just stick close by to the beach and... Seriously, let's, let's get back to... Okay, John, the key tell that there might have been Milo's around here are, one, you already saw one, and two, giant cocking piles of eggs. Okay, I can't get a good line on the head from where he is right now. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to wake him up. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a crit into the face, and we're going to see how that goes. And down he goes, lovely. That was officially a sneak attack. This is the advantage of stealth. Even when you've been sort of detected, you stay not detected for longer. This, this is why it's good, damn it. 
Okay, so all those rads were for literally nothing. Marvelous. Okay, random number gods, hear my prayer, give me something nice. And... Sharp metal left leg. Okay, charisma and intelligence. To be honest, that's... No, those are the two stats more than anything I don't really need to boost. Worth noting though that yeah, right now my left arm is the only thing I've got that's not legendary. So that's kind of the one where it doesn't matter what shows up, I'll be going over to it. But no, this is left leg, not left arm. Yeah, my current left leg is AP refresh, which is kind of good, because as long as I'm running that, I don't need Action Girl, and that saves me perks elsewhere. So uh, we'll be leaving that be. I'll take the viable blood sample and the meat. I don't need this. Just weirdly, yes, if I boost my intelligence, I actually get less XP overall on average because of video Savon. And Charisma is, then again, no, because I can't wear my leg gear at the same time as I'm wearing, say, in fact, actually, is there any, is there any Charisma plus two gear that you can still wear leg armor with? Because I don't believe there is. Like, the best you've got really is the dresses, where you can still wear the arms. So if this were an arm, this would be worth taking just for being able to boost Charisma. But no, so we'll just be, we'll just be leaving that. Bit of a waste there. And there's point Pia. This, by the way, is of course why, yeah, VAT scanning is essential. Because uh, as long as you're VAT scanning, you know the... Okay, this is all absolutely fine. Get a bit of distance between me and him. Go back into caution. I was literally just saying, oh, VAT scanning's great because it means you always see, you know, the Milo's before they pop up. No, not always. This is why it's actually kind of terrifying uh, to be too close to the ocean. Just, they're really well hidden. They're very well disguised and they just sort of pop up. And even, uh, yeah, quite thorough VAT scanning doesn't... Where did you just go? Where is he? Okay. Um, I don't know where he is. He's... Well, there's another razor claw. Okay, VAT scanning found you. What happened to your friend? I don't want to get too close to a kill claw. I really don't. There he is. I see him around the back. Okay, I want to take him out, but I do not want to get close to him. Because, seriously, these guys, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Can I just... Can I get around here? That's him. I thought there might be another one there for a second. <laughs> another one that was, that was uh, closer and more terrifying. Oh, he's in a really dumb position. He's, he's... Okay, the, the razor claw by the, the beach just woke up too. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like any of this, actually. Uh, you've just woken up, haven't you? If you'd like to turn around... Yeah, turn around. Come on. Over this direction, please. Over this direction. Wait for him to turn around, then I'm going to take the VAT shot. There we go. So take a 50-50. Actually, you know what? The torso looks like it's pretty solid. Take a few torso shots. And there he goes. That's a sneak 3.5. He goes down. That's a little bit of a critical right there. Okay, with him safely down, I can loop around this way and then get a shot at you, buddy. Let's see ya. Let's see ya. You're in a bit of a... He's really hiding. He's hiding in a dumb place and I don't like it. Right, buddy. 50-50. Uh, no, I've only got a good shot at the bloody head. Okay, please turn and face this way. Please turn and... Okay, if I just go a little bit more in this direction. See, look at this. He just he just can't detect me. This is the key. This is the key right here. And one. And two. Should finish you off. Lovely. There's 91. He goes down. Gets flung over the top. That's all a okay. And I have a source of food. I mean, this is... That's fine. That's just a soft shell. That's just a soft shell. That's just a soft shell. Soft shell's the... How on earth did you fail to take out a bloody soft shell in a single round? Okay, whatever. I said I needed food. I said the parasites were annoying. I didn't really mean to come on a hunting trip. But okay, that's what we're doing today. It turns out we're doing a hunting trip because we desperately need food. Another one just pops up out of the ocean. That one is... That one's a bit scarier, actually. That one's... That one's a lot scarier. Okay, so I've just lost my flipping... 
crit that I just spent a lot of time building up to. And he's sort of in the ocean, which I don't really like. But I will be having... Excuse me. A... Game? Game are you? Fallout 4's having a bit of a funny moment. And that concerns me a little bit, actually. That was... Okay, the beach is a silly place. Let's not be here anymore. Right, use the car to hop to the top of the bridge. And scan. We've got ourselves another beach here. That is the parking pier. Which normally I'd be suspicious of. But last time I passed over this place, there were some... Uh, there was some brotherhood in the area. But that was yesterday, I think. So, oh. No, that was just some birds. I'm not immediately seeing signs of trouble. I don't want to go right down onto the beach because, seriously, my alerts can be... They can get suddenly tanky the moment, like, you know, glowing lads start, uh, start showing up. So I don't really want them popping out of the ocean. Problem is, yeah, being too close to the sea, you also get lots of ambient noise off the ocean, which kind of stops you from hearing what else is about. Keep on keeping on. There is, yes, the cannery. We don't need that. And then straight through over here. Okay, straight up the path. I've seen the Brotherhood here before. It would be nice if they were here today, but they've just decided, you know, not to be. So, fair enough. You can't always get lucky on that one. If you get really lucky, and I'm kind of, you know, hoping this might be the case, the Brotherhood can straight up spawn outside the Battaglia and storm it. All right, this is one of the points where a Vertibird just sometimes does show up. I've never seen anybody figure out the exact mathematics here, but there do seem to be patterns, like spots where the Brotherhood are way more likely to land than others. And over by the police station, just before Libertalia, to my mind, is one of those spots. Now I'm particularly watching. Yep, thought so. Okay. Robots on the left there. That's what makes this path. Here we go! Okay, so I've got good news and bad news. Bad news is Legendary Assault Tron. So if that sees me, that's it. That's, that's kind of game over as far as I'm concerned. But... The Brotherhood are spawning precisely where I want them to. If there's even the slightest chance I'm going into caution, I just toss myself over to the... Okay, this is, this is... Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're going in the... Okay, we're going for a swim. 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 Assaultron is... Do not mess. Do not mess with Assaultron. Okay, never mess with Assaultron under any circumstances. Okay, now... There's the Assault Tron, and it's... Oh, bloody hell, has it kind of just drawn the attention of the of the Brotherhood? I was kind of wanting the Brotherhood to storm Libertalia, uh, but instead it's... Oh, that... Okay, there's definitely a Brotherhood because we've confirmed. Uh, then we've got... What happened to the people? Okay, um, someone's on the gun. I don't want to be here for this. I want to be inside because if he wants to... Guys, please, please, guys, come on. Come on, guys, Let's let's not do this. Are you just landing right now? If they're just landing, that means they might be pulling the assault run in this direction, which is actually like not good. Um, so I want to be not here when when that happens. And okay, what have you just dropped off? I see one. Do you actually have someone in? What? Okay, then it just moved, and then okay, they have dropped off a proper paladin in power armor. Now a paladin power armor is. Are you getting back in? Are you actually cowarding out? Did you just? No, no, they're not. But seriously, I, I don't want to be... I might want to be involved in this. It kind of depends whether you guys are willing to do all the work or not. Okay, how much do I have right now? I've got one crit in hand. That's not enough to... Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to be ready to hide inside this building. Because, uh, yep, yeah, there's a Raider Waster who's now become aware of the situation because there's so much bloody fire going on right now and uh, if you guys would like to yes i would like you guys uh, to come over here this is where i wanted you to come in the first place damn it raider psycho down in that direction uh legendary raider over there okay and now they're gonna cause what happened with the bloody okay this is this is too many fights happening at once by the way this is this is more fights happening at once than i am in any way comfortable with there's a raider psycho was he ever blind firing at me? I don't think necessarily he he was. Um, and oh, 
No, that's fine. That's the Brotherhood. What happened to the legendary? Okay, so this here, this is precisely what I want to see. I want to see a big, noisy Brotherhood lump just basically come in and say, Hey, that's going to be... Never mind, I was trying to get the kill. The problem is I need to get a bit of damage in. I need to get a little bit of damage in, because if I don't, then I don't get the, the XP. But like, Brotherhood and Power Armor, that's a tough enemy. Right there, he's going to be able to take out basic raiders, no trouble. But I would like to get, like, some of the damage in myself. But then again, legendaries drop, um, they do drop. That's the... Okay, this is fine. What happened to the bloody... The yep, what actually happened, by the way, guys, uh, to the other guy? You know, the Assaultron, the legendary, who was like... You were taken on. I mean, logically, if you're here, I'm really worried you never took him out. Because if you took him on directly, you'd have less health than this. And this really, that concerns me, like, a lot. But this is what I wanted to say. Alright, this is, this is precisely what I was hoping to say. Now, where's the legendary? Okay, we're going to come back and check on that Assaultron later. Because, to be honest, like, it's not worth the risk. But now, oh, don't stand too close to them. If you stand too close to them, you might get hit by the blind fire aimed at them. So, yeah, I see you guys over there. What are you going for? That's, that's the brother. Do not shoot the brotherhood or there's going to be trouble. Um, and then, okay, that's fine. That's just random bits of, random bits of fire. I see you over here. And I'll be taking you out. There we go. I am willing to help. Here's Libertalia. And this is what I wanted. Okay. This is just dynamically generated brotherhood. Taking out an environment I wouldn't normally be able to take out particularly easily. This is precisely what I wanted to see. There's another one goes down. This here is XP. I am just providing sniper supporting fire for the bloody brotherhood. I'm just really hoping that there's not like, you know, a bloody Assaultron coming up behind me at some point. Because if it does, that's it. That's that's the end of your live one. So, you know, it's been a good run. Um, okay. Time for me to go down onto the thing. Because I don't want to get too far away from them. If you get too far away, they might despawn. Uh, this guy had a pool queue, so I shouldn't have been too worried by him. But okay. Out we go. Yeah, being by the ocean is unnerving. There's just so much ambient noise, it can be hard to make out the noise of anything else. But if they just want to storm Libertalia, that is that is great. I will take it as that raider over there. Nope, that's just a workbench. I'm peckish, that's fine. And they were taking on something over there, were they? Okay, use them to spot the targets. And also, don't forget to... Oh. Don't mind me. Excuse me, there's... Where's the... Okay, there's a light somewhere. Also, oh, hang on, you were there. You were the legendary. I'm glad you remembered that. And... Cunning. Okay, that's right arm. Agility and perception up. As opposed to, that's my assassin. Damage reduction. That is... Oh, that's a toughie. That's a real flipping toughie. Okay, so, 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 so. Let's talk about, yes, how this needs to go. Which is, there is an order of priority in how I look at the world. So, step one is never get seen in the first place. All right, the perfect firefight is you go in, everyone gets taken out before they even knew you were there. That's the perfect firefight. After that, there's the firefight where they knew you were there, but you had enough firepower that you were able to take them out before they actually hit you. Okay, stressful, but you don't lose any health. The final stage is if you come under fire, then at that point, don't worry, we've reduced the damage as much as it can be reduced, in which case damage reduction takes precedence over damage resistance. Assassins is damage reduction. However, cunning is agility and perception. Agility directly translates into stealthiness. Perception directly translates into ability to hit my targets in VATS, which is important because that's how we're going to be charging up. I'm going to do it. I think a point of agility and a point of perception is more valuable to me than 15% damage reduction off humans. Now, I'm going to regret that when, you know, I'm dead from being killed by a human and I might survive the shot, but maybe I'll keep both. But, like, if it goes to hell, put the assassin's gear back on. 
if it's going to plan, cunning operators is the right way to go, especially as it's going to be a lot better in terms of damage resistance. Like, it's already better without any improvements on it whatsoever. So I'm going to take that right now. That's actually pretty darn good. Also, could we please stop, uh, yes, putting light on me? I'd appreciate that hugely. Do you want to put it on now? Well, I am hidden right now, so sure. Okay, so that brings me to perception of 8, agility of 13. And uh, the thing is, in this game, some things are capped. Like covert magazines, I can get 10 of them. That's it. That's all there is. Arm pieces, I can go over to shadowed, for example. But there's only so many limbs I can put shadowed on. Number of uh, ranks of the sneak perk. There's only so many of them. Agility is uncapped. Anything I can do to boost agility, I should do. Because that's also more AP, which is also really valuable. Okay, sorry, back to the firefight I'm probably supposed to be uh, helping with at this point. So, okay, just uh, follow on from the Brotherhood, see how they're doing. But to be honest, they were doing uh, they were doing pretty darn solidly, all things considered. No sign of the, no sign of the Assault Trance. Sky is looking a little bit grey at the moment. There's Knight. Oh yeah, the Knight has barely even taken a scratch. The Knight is golden. So, hopefully, they'll just be cutting straight through this area. That's some free stuff I can use and or sell. Hopefully, we're going towards rain, not a rad storm. I have got the spare weight to go over to the hazmat suit. Just look out for... Okay, I don't like that. Oh, machine gun turret. That's all fine. Take that out. All right, there's the Brotherhood Knights. Alright, everything's fine. He's still taking on something. Oh, this is actually not good. If visibility goes down while I'm trying to bloody snipe, that's that's kind of not what I need. I kind of need visibility to stay good. Because, yeah, you're going to be wanting to do a fair whack of manual sniping in this area, if at all possible. Okay, Brotherhood Knight's gone quiet. He's not doing anything right now. Which is fine, to be honest. But I was really hoping he'd be, you know, leading the charge. Someone's still firing, suggesting the other lad's gone gone ahead somewhere. Yeah, there he is. He's over there. But now, with this mist, I actually can't see his target anymore. Uh, I really want to provide fire support, mate. But I literally can't. I'm really sorry. Genuinely, I am. I would like to be assisting, but there is nothing I can do in these weather conditions. So, okay, you're on the move now. Good. Good, good, good. Just... You just died, by the way. I feel like the... Oh! Okay, the knight is now... He's a bit stuck. He might not be able to make it over that gangplank. He might just be, uh... He might just be having some... Okay, now there's no knight. Right, so my friends have... My friends have gone. Well, they were helpful while they lasted. Got it. Okay, but on the plus side, they seem to have cleared out. No, he's teleported up there. Okay, good. He's not, he's not dead. He just walked to his destination. Okay, so he's over there at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to see the Raider Scum. They've spawned in over there. The problem is I can't see them. And yeah, there's the... Uh, there's the elevator that leads up top, and I need to get up top. Up top is where, yeah, that's where um the magazine is. The problem is, in this weather, I simply can't, I can't see. I mean, vats can show me where they are, and a crit would let me take them out, but I could do some of this manning light. This is a good shooting gallery. Also, I'm conceptually terrified that one of these people might have a missile launcher. Uh, so that that's always scary. Yeah, there it is. There's the elevator. It would take me to the top. Is the weather clearing or have I just got a bit closer? It's one or the other. It's fine. Get over here. You're dead. Is that Tommy Gunner or a shotgun? Oh, there's a submachine gun right over there. And there's your head. Lovely. Just be helping myself to a few... Uh, bits and pieces by the way especially the 308 that's going to be uh, that's going to be something I'm going to start burning through very fast especially in the glowing sea okay waster is not bad the problem is I just is that a head there we go that was a head right there now we hide right here okay we can pick off a fair whack of them if they fire a missile 
hopefully I'm out of the splash radius. Like, you know, maybe. And no, the weather's getting, it's getting worse, not better. But this here, this is a really good spot to hide out in. And I can tell how alert they are based on, well, one, whether I'm hidden or not. And two, uh, whether they're like panicking and pulling out guns. Is that a head? That was a head. Marvellous. So now we just uh, move back over here and just chill out for a second. And kind of hope the Brotherhood decides to come and get involved. Because that night, I'd really welcome his assistance. Okay, everyone's calmed down. I see a raider over there. I see a scum up top. Is that two separate scums? Was that the same scum? No, that's, uh, that's the same scum. He just moves between... Seated or not, I've sort of got a bit of a view on him. There's the raider. If he just wants to hold still for a second, I'm just going to wait for someone to to hold still. All right, and I really cannot see, like, just, just. I've got like you know an outline. I've got an outline of a human. That's that's what I'm working with right now. Marvelous. Oh, there he is. And oh, uh oh, why did you just panic? Why are you panicking? Okay, why are you panicking? I don't care. Because that's that's good news. That would suggest I was in uh, Hidden. He was panicking regardless. That strongly suggests that there's someone else nearby. Now, the only person it really can be is the knight. They might be conceptually aware at the very highest level of the knight. Alright, just... Where's Captain Raider? can hear his voice and he sounds closer than I'd like to be honest like at this range he shouldn't be that clear which worries me a little bit he can't make his way to me though right because the whole point is there's an elevator if he gets closer I will know because oh what's that those are mannequins those are the okay bloody hell those are mannequins they're just mannequins in the fog there you go buddy I I say I see you. I do not see you. Not properly. And is that a head? I think that might be a head. Right. Well, he's dead. And that should be everyone on this first level. Because no one was there. Then again. Danger of silence weapons is it can lure you into a false sense of security. Can't it? I do not have eyes on anything else. I don't need to go up to the very top, by the way. That's not what we're doing. All we're doing is we're clearing out this section. And uh, to be honest, with the Brotherhood's help, that has actually been manageable on this occasion. What was that? That's just the boat. There's too many ambient noises, all right, in the seaside areas. It is deeply unnerving. And you're already dead, my friend. Were you missile launcher, man? I think there might be a missile launcher. I don't like... Just a bit of dust or something. Okay. I think we're safe to use the the elevator. Okay. By which I mean... How many crits have I got? I've got a crit. I've got a crit in hand. Okay. Just be ready. Where's my knight friend? Okay. We good? Well, no one's here right now. There were no legendaries, unfortunately. So, I don't need any of that or any of that. I'm not really using Molotovs. Molotovs, yeah, at this point in the game are high risk to low reward. So, that's not really what we're, what we're after. Now, I just need to work my way up. Be aware, there might be people at the back. What I really should have done in a perfect world would be... Yeah, I should have come at night when they might be asleep. Still, I shan't say no to free, you know, stuff. And that's oil. Everybody loves oil. So, okay, just... Just keep on moving up. I could set off an explosive to test for awareness. Okay, just... Alright. Someone's almost detecting me. But the problem is, I know for... Hi over there! Hi! Hi, 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 hi! There's two people over there. There's two people over there. There's two people over there. Okay. 
Okay, I need shots on both of them. And, uh, okay, you know what? Grenade straight to the pair of you. Okay. Okay, there's one. That was both of them dead, but someone else is also aware of my existence, or at least conceptually is at the very highest level. Uh, retreat down to the lowest level. That grenade was the right call. The problem is grenades, they do become aware of. You cannot just throw... Okay, that's a basic raider. That's good news. Um, that means he's a basic. That means a headshot will 100% take him out. Keep an eye through the holes over here. If he comes down the stairs, I'll know. But it seems to me like he'd have no way of knowing where I was. Uh, because, yeah, he shouldn't be able to have uh, heard me retreating. Uh, still in caution. I think it's now just a single radar. Yeah, grenades always put enemies into the beginning of alert. But they will never really get out of the way in time. So I think that was a sensible grenade to make. But, okay, there's definitely more here than what I've already seen. Gotcha. Okay, buddy. Where are you? Because you went into caution, then dropped straight back out again. Which makes me think that you're not on this floor. Because if you are on this floor, then you'd have been more perturbed by the fact you are now hanging out with corpses. That makes me think you heard the explosion, but didn't actually see the bodies. Let's just get over here. Nothing dramatic. Really basic leather stuff. Yeah, okay. We've been a bit lucky with the, uh, the spawns here. Wouldn't have minded another legendary, but it seems to be under control. And just swing throw. Swing throw. Swing throw. That's back to... No, that's back to where we were. Never mind. I thought I was moving forward, but I wasn't. I've forgotten the bloody layout. Just be aware. Here we go. Up. This is where things could get dicey. Where's my friend? Yeah, white cabin. This is the floor. This is the floor. So I've already taken out you, buddy. Just need to take out the next uh, third person camera. There he is. Okay, can I get a good shot on him right now? I'm a little bit concerned that the bullet would just hit the the thing. Uh, can I just get around the back of him? And yeah, this will be safer. Take him down. Okay. There was just a shuffle. The brackets are still shuffling. But nobody saw him die. If nobody sees him die, that's a really good start. Because that means there's not really anyone looking this way. And yeah, radar architecture is full of holes and cracks. You can use them to scout around corners. Okay, just... Yeah, he had a tire iron. So this was not really a massive problem. Check this floor. Okay. We should be good. You were dead as well. Everybody nice and happy. Everybody should be nice and happy. And uh, right here next to... Yes! Not a missile launcher. Fat man, actually. Uh, have I got space to take the mini nuke? I might do. I may as well give it a go and take it along. I can drop it later if I need to, like, you know, get some uh, space back. So I'll take that for now. But really, why we actually came here was US Covert Operations. So, bushes, boxes, and beehives. Uh, camouflage special. So, uh, okay. Now we need to... Oh! Oh, now the weather's improving. Sure, whatever. Uh, we now don't need to go any further up. Uh, because I think there's more people here. But we do not need to cause trouble with them. Uh, we might well come back here later. But if we do, I believe this place just uh, restocks anyway. Uh, so we don't need to worry about it. Like, There's no point clearing it out now. There's nothing else particularly of value here. I'm just going to make my way out the same way I came in. And... Uh, if I can find that Assaultron corpse, great. Or if I find that Assaultron alive, less great. But yeah, the only person you absolutely must take out is the guy on the platform. Who I knew I had to take out, but just, um, I didn't know it was him because I couldn't bloody see anything. So, you know, that was, that was fun. But we got a mini nuke and we have got another magazine. A 7 out of 10 would have been an 8, but yeah, I never invested in lockpicking, which is a little bit of a shame, but what can you do, eh? Okay, back to where I was previously. I can see one dog right over there. That's fine. What happened to the Assaultron? Okay, because what unnerves me is when... Wait a second, is that... Is that a dead robot? That's not a dead Assaultron, though, is it? 
That is... Nope, that's a Mr. Gutsy. Okay, so... That would suggest there was a fight. There was a fight, but what happened to the bloody Assaultron? Because legendary robots explode, as I need to remember. Because seriously, um, if I was a betting person, I'd put 10 quid on that's how this fails. If it fails, it's going to be me going up to a legendary robot because they explode. That was just something falling out of the sky. That sometimes happens. Welcome to Bethesda Physics. Where's the body? Okay, there should have been an explosion. I didn't hear an explosion. The fact I did not hear an explosion perturbs me. Okay, I should have done. So in which case... Is he still alive? And if he's not, where's the body? Because that's a free legendary. The last time I had eyes on him was over here. He was standing over here and he was firing on... Listen. For... Okay, they never killed him. They just walked away. Leave it, leave it, leave it back away. We are not engaging in Assault Tron. Okay, we're not. We are not engaging in Assault Tron at flipping all. Are we safe to go over to here? Yeah, I think we're safe to go over to here. Alright, they are yeah, the head lasers at the range oh, oh, no no, no, prepare to toss self into C if need be. They're really, really perceptive as well. That's the danger. I mean, no, do not do it. That's just, I mean, I've got a crit right there. No. If the choice is ever, should I attack an Assault Tron or should I not? The answer is no, no, you should not. You should never, ever attack an Assault Tron. The only possible scenario you should say yes is... If you've laid a massive chain of mines and it's not worth the risk. Even then, it is not worth the risk. Okay. Assault Trons are terrifying. Legendary Assault Trons even more so. Because if I can't get a kill, it's going to regenerate and be even tougher. Okay. No. That's just... Never mind, that wasn't enemy. I was just holding the button too long and it showed me my crits. I've still got a crit in hand. One crit, no. I'd want more than one crit, to be honest. And I'd want a flipping mini nuke chem. But that is not worth the risk. At all. Okay, returning south, another vertebrate. This is the nice thing about the Brotherhood. Like, it's not just an occasional thing. You see the Brotherhood, like, cocking everywhere. They're constantly showing up, like, all over the place. It's a real incentive to keep the Brotherhood on hand. Because on the high difficulties, just... Just double check. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you going? And also, they're firing on... Mini gun fire. Okay. What's, what's that ahead? Is that... Ah! Is that, um... Uh, what's on a gibbet? Yes, I know what that is. That's just a handful of uh, of raiders over there. That's just a raider camp over in that direction. So, if I could get a good shot into assist, then... There you go. There you go, buddy. I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't be... I shouldn't be drawing needless extra attention to myself. It's just a bad decision in general. Because they may or may not be willing to help me in, you know, the long term. Also, I still don't know what on this road caused me 10 million bloody rads. So that's that's maybe something I should be paying more attention to. Because I seriously don't know what uh, what caused that. And uh, hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still. Down you go, buddy. Detected and... There goes the vertebrate. I don't have eyes on the pilot, but... I think we're good, right? All seems peaceful for now. No particular reason to cause trouble with that raided camp. That was all manual shots, so XP, but no crits. Stay over on the left, because... Seriously, I don't know what just caused me to take the single biggest single set of rads I've taken in, like, the entire bloody thing. And there's a knight. Good, we got eyes on a knight. Okay, that's positive. And the night is going. Night is going in this direction. That's pretty much the direction I want to go in. So, to be honest, I mean, there we go. I've now got myself. Actually, that's a, that's a double night. Double nights are extra lucky. Now I've just got myself, you know, extra friends to travel around in. I know I'm not walking into trouble because if I am, there we go. They'll just see it and they'll deal with it for me. Which is very bloody convenient. And it's 
It's dogs again. I don't want to fire if I don't have to because, yeah, I'm going to get the meat regardless. And dogs are like, no XP, so I'd rather just let them take them out. To be honest, it's fine. I'm not getting involved. Aside from the fact you're a legendary, I shouldn't have wasted critical. Why did you just waste a critical on that, John? Okay, so the dog that's a bit further along the road, uh, that's another legendary drop. Okay, after seeing nowhere near enough legendaries uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, we're now getting into plenty of bloody legendaries, which is marvellous. So, uh, alright, there's more meat. I did need more meat and... Oh, good! Say hello to... Oh, that's awful. I mean, okay, it could be a poisonous lead pipe or something. Poisonous is basically um, the worst effect uh, in the entire game. Uh, you might be wondering why that is. It's because a vast number of enemies are completely immune to poison. Like, loads of them. It's kind of like bleeding if bleeding was terrible. Like, um, the bleeding effect is really good. Because nothing in the game apart from robots resists bleeding. However, poisoner basically everything resists poison. And it's not even that much poison damage, and it's on a 10mm, so that's, you know, obviously um, a pistol and it can't be converted into a rifle. So, basically we're going to be leaving that. We'll take the meat, we'll leave that. That's, yeah, that's absolutely terrible. Poisonous is the worst. Okay, safely back to County Crossing. No trouble there whatsoever. No visiting merchants, no anything. So, okay, seems quite good chance for me to cook up the ludicrous amount of meat I've been picking up. Yep, that's, uh, that's a good 18 mutt chops right there. And just completely retracing my steps. Very, very peaceful. Not seeing anything around, which is, as far as I'm concerned, good news. Uh, give Bunk Hill a bit of a wide berth. Cross the river here. So, yeah, now would obviously be um, a good time while I'm passing through town to just uh, nip back over to the memory den and take care of that business. Here we go, at the tall building with the walkway. Take a left here. That should bring me straight up to Mass Fusion, which is right next to Good Neighbor. Just be alert to the possibility of certain things. Yep, there's the Alboy. That's fine. It never really seems to pay too much attention to you. So that's a-okay. Just, you know, be nice and peaceful and quiet and he'll be no trouble at all. Straight past the barricade. There, and if you mean that's just the noise of fire, that's fine. There we go, nice and simple. Ah, uh, yes, on the way past as well, uh, yes, so operators. Not much you can really do to that. Yeah, to make it better is a huge, huge investment, so that's just not going to happen. And because it's operators, I'm not going to find much out in the world. In fact, yeah, I'd forgotten the nuclear world stuff is all ludicrously, ludicrously yeah, uh, tough in terms of perks, so I can't do a thing without armor of four. It also can't have dense, can it? No, dense just isn't an option. Okay, I still think it's the best option, but yeah, bear in mind I'm not as explosive proof as I used to be. I might want to put, yeah, dense on one of my other bits, so my chameleon could actually have dense on it. That's actually an option, yes. Also, my powered raider left leg is on very basic light build right now, or rather light build. Uh, I could improve that to ultra light build, which is which is here twice for reasons I'm not 100% sure of. But, uh, okay, fiberglass, cork, adhesive, rubber, might be able to make that fly immediately, or custom fit it. Now, the ability to sprint for less AP... I mean, sprinting is a good way of, you know, not being in a place where you're being shot anymore. Oh, we are massively overdue for, yeah, work on all of these things. I can actually change my, uh, yeah, my chest piece over to deep pocketed as well. Then again, pocketed is, is that 10 is deep pocketed 20? Because that's a big deal. Because ultralight is also available. That saves me 5 and would also get me, that would get me 10 AP. AP is nice. AP is really nice. For now, though, stay on the important stuff. Memory Dan, let's get this nonsense done. 
So Nick Valentine gets in the chair, we've plugged Kellogg's brain into him, and then I'm going to live through all the memories. There is literally no gameplay to this area, it's impossible to take damage. With one actual exception, there is a fun exception, which is, um, in survival mode, your survival metrics are not paused while you're inside the memory. So, do not go in if you are desperately hungry or thirsty, because you can still take damage over time. I've never actually seen anybody die inside the memory, and, uh, presumably you just reload to your last save if you did, but, uh, okay, just don't do that, and that's fine, I'm just a tiny bit thirsty, it's really not that bad at all, so it's not gonna happen to me, so, I'm gonna skip by all this bit, because, yeah, it is nothing but story, I have shown it off in several series before, basically, we're just gonna learn how Kellogg gets in and out of the Institute, after learning a bit of his backstory. And yep, there's nothing to stop you just running into a memory and then running straight out. The exit point is always loaded uh, the moment the memory begins. So you can just uh, skim through these if you don't want to have to sit through every single memory. And plot twist, it turns out, yes, it's a teleporter. Marvelous. And with that, Dangerous Minds is done. But we need to find out about teleportation. That means we need a rogue institute scientist. And that means, uh, yeah, it's... um. It's time for the glowing sea. That's next on the playlist. Got ourselves a handful of ghouls just outside the barricade here. Nice and simple. Just a single grenade takes care of all of them. I didn't actually scan them first, to be honest. So, okay, none of them were legendary. That's a bit of a shame. All right, just keep on keeping on. Should be golden at this point. Yeah, I need to watch this exit from uh, nearby to Mass Fusion because that is a uh, random spawn point. So, got to be a little bit careful with all of those bastards right over there. But it is the fastest way to uh, get back down to the riverfront, which is otherwise the safest way to get back home. Unless, like, you know, Backstreet Apparel's just decided to uh, regenerate again, which hopefully it hasn't on this occasion. Um, okay, so... Actually, the answer is yes. Yes, Backstreet Apparel has regenerated. Again. This is... Well, this is all not... Not normal. Like, you know, these sites shouldn't just be able to... Randomly... That's... That's weird. I don't like that. That's not really supposed to... Supposed to happen. Like, at all. Oh, that's why I'm going up and down the odd bit of health. It's because I'm now gaining 0.5 of a health point every time I level up. Yes, that would explain a lot. So, okay. I don't know why you are just regenerating, but like, maybe we need to stay the flip away from Backstreet Apparel because it's just regenerating, like, regularly. That's not really what it's supposed to, to do. Like, not even under normal circumstances. Never mind under bloody survival mode. Okay, um, we need to find a route that doesn't bring us by Backstreet Apparel. Because, uh, for some reason, uh, Backstreet Apparel is now just sort of uh, producing an endless supply of uh, raiders. Which is, I mean, I guess potentially a good source of... Then again, never trust a turret. Turrets can be trouble. Okay, that's... That's weird. Fallout 4's been in a funny mood today. There's been all sorts of uh, weird stuff going on. Actually, so, okay, hopefully Fallout 4 will be feeling better next week. Also, you know what's hilarious? So, those magazines I just went to pick up, yeah, the, um, the single point of agility is worth more to my stealth than both of those magazines, so, okay, fair enough. Unintended consequences, it all works out in the end. Okay, 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 okay. How much stuff do I have here? Because I may or may not be able to do certain upgrades to Magia. In particular, I'm almost out of Ballistic Fiber. Okay, without Ballistic Fiber, I can't actually, yeah, turn my, uh, what is it, chameleon thing over to Dense. So I'm not going to have Explosive Resistance for the time being. But if we're going to the Glowing Sea, not so important because we're going up against, you know, melee creatures not enemies that potentially are going to have explosives. So keep that in mind. We do need to sort that out sooner or later. What I do, however, have is tons of cork. So, okay, we can make some small improvements to my armor regardless. Oh, but then again, hang on. Oh, I've actually got a fair bit of, ah, ballistic fiber in military ammo bag and military grade duct tape. Okay, I might just have enough to actually go over to 
Yeah, that should just be enough, actually. Six should be plenty. In fact, actually, I've got more than six. I've got eight. Okay, now this is getting somewhere. And looks to me like we've also got ourselves... Uh, hang on. Just take out a little super mutant over there. Looks to me like we've got ourselves... Yep, Brotherhood taking on mutants. So if Diamond City Security would like to provide a little bit of backup, I'd be willing to, you know, take a couple of snipes. Why not? Though, to be honest, we're... Okay, something just fell off the vertebird. Maybe there's... Oh, there's two. Okay, two is two is too, too many, actually. Um, I'm just going to go into Diamond City because uh, the chance of one of those vertebrates crashing into me, that's, you know, that's a thing I'm not going to ignore. And thankfully, the interior of Diamond City exists in a parallel dimension. So, yes, the trouble outside has no effect here. Okay, time for some long overdue upgrades. Okay, Chameleon Shadow Metal, that goes over to Dents to replace the Dents on Assassin. Lovely. Cunning stays as is, because I literally can't do anything. Then we have got... Hang on, that's... Okay, good, I was about to say, I swear we had something on that, but it didn't load in for a second. Uh, okay, we should have enough to go over to Ultralight, lovely. So that is at three more AP, together with, yep, still being lovely and light right there. Weight doesn't really matter anymore, but, you know, the other stuff is uh, nice. And this is... Uh, I don't know why this was just as it was, but this was just as it was. So, why are there two? Fallout 4 is just in a funny mood today. I don't know why. I mean, another 5 AP. I'm not going to say no to that. And also, I just happen to have enough stuff here to make this uh, tempered. So, I mean, it's an extra one for two. I could get up to buttress, but that's... No, I keep doing this. I keep thinking, why have I not upgraded this? It's because two points of damage resistance is not worth one extra weight. So, leave that as it is. Move it over to ultralight. That should now all be fine, right? And finally, having bought just a handful of extra glue because somehow I did my maths wrong. Yes, move this over to deep pocketed. Lovely. Bringing me up to, yes, 225 in terms of uh, total carry capacity. Though my AP is now down at 85, when previously I could have sworn agility was... Okay, it's, it's probably good, but wait, why is that? I swear that was higher. Like, was I actually effective? Okay, maybe Fallout 4 is just feeling weird today. I'm sure it's fine. That reminds me, we leveled up, so we should probably, like, you know, do something to that as well. So, no, don't worry about Idiosavod 3. You don't need 3. Explosives. No, but yes, but maybe, but... Oh, bloody hell, and 38 is at sneak 5. So... Okay, now we're getting into, yeah, some, uh, some free picks. Mr. Sandman is straight up damage increase. That's nice. That's really nice because uh, silence rifles are still really my go-to day-to-day. So an extra 15% there. That is not bad. That's not bad at all. But moving luck in the right direction to take some very powerful pokes going forward. Like, you know, being able to unlock Grim Reaper's Sprint. Being able to sort out Four Leaf Clover. That's all something that's very, very good indeed. But... Hmm. Restoring action points up to 25, then 35. And I could get that up to level 2 pretty fast. Meanwhile, that is... Uh, that I could get to 3 straight away. So uh, every hit giving you a good chance of critical meter. I feel like that's got to be the best option. This feels like a good lull right here. I'm going to go for the extra point of base luck. Unless... The problem is quick hands isn't that important. Blitz isn't so good. Uh, Gunfu is nice, but like, it's situational. No, I'm going for it. We're taking the luck up to 8. Not going to make a huge difference day to day right now, but one more point, Four Leaf Clover becomes available. That can make a difference. Okay, so this this nonsense is still happening. That's that's a vertebrate at like half health and... Okay, this is, this is fine. It's all under control. Maybe just, like, stay away from, from all of this, actually. If the Brotherhood want to take out some super mutants, that's cool. Kind of, you know, it's in their DNA. They've been doing it for a long time. Maybe just, you know, keep a, keep a flipping distance right now. So, that's, that's one of you. That's fine. No new raiders showing up on the road. And, yeah, they're gonna... That was another explosion of subscription. Good, 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 good. That was that sort of person. That's just a shadow. Everything's... 
everything's under control. I'm just feeling a little bit cautious because sometimes Fallout 4 just gets a bit, you know, funny and weird stuff happens. And this feels like one of those days. Like, you know, in the background, the game's just decided that uh, Wild Wasteland's on for some reason. Okay, so, the situation. I've still got parasites, I've got some food, uh, enough for the time being. Plus, I can, like, you know, hunt on the way if need be. I'm tired, uh, but adrenaline is at a very decent level 7. And I feel like, actually, that's... That's the situation we want to be in. I think, actually, I don't want to give up that adrenaline. This is this has been a good little starting off point right here. Then again, there's there's going to be plenty of chances to know. This is one of the difficult things uh, in survival mode. Figuring out when you do and don't want to sacrifice adrenaline uh, for tiredness. Because uh, the next level of tiredness is... Uh, that's going to be strength minus one. Now, that's not too bad. I've got plenty of spare capacity right now. Also, do I want to take the the fat man? Because, uh, yes, now I have got all the magazines. Well, for now, I can get my hands on. It's time to start thinking about uh, moving in that direction. Because, yes, Covert is now up to Covert 7. That's pretty good. And... Uh, I can pick up a little bit more en route to. I should be able to get that up to 8 or 9 going forward. So, okay. I don't know why this is 11. I swear that said 13 a while ago. And I don't know why. Oh, but this is the sort of thing I'm wanting to say. Going into the glowing sea. Yeah. A rifle that can stagger with a fire rate of 49 and damage at 138. I can't give this up. I think we've got to make it happen. Like, it's always going to take a little bit of time to get up your adrenaline. We're not doing so bad. Then again, it's been... How long has it been? Oh, I can't remember when when the tiredness kicked in. I have no clue when the tiredness kicked in. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I would say, ladies and gentlemen, as yep, more people sort of bug out in front of me... That's enough for now. Next time, the journey south does begin. Sorry, got a little bit... Uh, delayed, uh, by the way. Wasn't my intention, but, uh, yes, I kind of felt like I wasn't gonna leave a, uh, completely free available, uh, covert ops just sitting there. Still, uh, we've done some good prep here. I have got myself a good amount of adrenaline. I'm not too tired. Uh, I mean, good shape. This is, uh, this is the moment where we begin the journey. So, uh, join me next week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to the Glowing Sea. There's a couple of different routes we could... Just, you know, just a vertebrae crashing over there. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It didn't hit me. So, again, hooray for the 90%. So, uh, yes, everything's everything's under control. Next week, we go into the glowing sea. I mean it this time. Seriously, I do. But, uh, yes, I feel like we are now much, much stronger. So, hopefully, you, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much. And goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes! My stupid, stupid plan has worked! It turns out I'm a genius! The giant rat scorpion is not gone! Oh, hang on, there's, there's more yet, though. I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.